Okay, so this front uh, bumper retainer, they call it, is goes under the headlight. It's the rubber, uh, pretty much to seal the light under it. Goes right here. Lines up like that. Then usually this has a piece of rubber all on the top and it goes under and the light rests on it. In this case, this car is a 97, so it basically came off over time. So what I did is I got a, uh, this is a seal for a door. Got it at Ace Hardware, $6. So what I'm going to do is, I already cut a piece to length. Take this out. And then the rubber piece here, the the plastic i'm going to put it under the bumper like that like that all the way around and it stays in place like that and then the bracket will slide right under it and it should be perfect so i put that rubber trim on there I didn't put the bracket on there. This is just test fitting. I had to cut here. Where's my finger there? Because this light already has its own. So they were overlapping, kind of pushing up too hard. So you see in there, it looks good. It looks clean. These lights are not great. They don't line up too well, but I'll get into that soon. I'm not worried about this here because the light is going to press down so I like that a lot no gluing involved at all so now I'm going to cut the other piece for the other side line this up gotta trim a little bit there This side for me is a little more tricky because I had a crash years ago and it pretty much bent everything. So let's try this. Okay. Make sure I have the same gap here as I have here. Good. Now let's put the bracket, slide it under the lip. Mm, it looks all right. Then let me bolt it up. perfect again again I didn't have to glue anything so look good now I'm gonna work on putting these R34 lights on I have already put this bracket that it came with it I had to bend it a little bit because again I had a crash so everything's out of shape and this kit this R34 light 
brought two driver, two passenger side brackets instead of one of each. So I noticed if you put one upside down, the light still lines up with the circled holes. So what I'm going to do is cut here and basically I'll just be using half of this and I tried to bolt it down and try to move it around and it's pretty stiff so that should be fine it's not a show car after all so now that I have the rubber trims on I'll be putting on these R34 lights housings they're very poor quality the lineup it's not great there are these rubber pieces are already loose so I'm gonna have to glue that or I might just leave it I don't know. and then I had to make some changes here my front end is crashed so not everything lines up well the housing bumps into this here so I had to hammer it in I might sand it and paint it and all that, but you get the idea. Um, like I mentioned before, you might have to bend this bracket a little bit to line up. What else did I have to do here? I had to bend this a little out because it was too far in and the, the lip here this lip here was not grabbing so it's probably because of my crash uh, what else um, that's about it here I have a mess because I started drilling so I can line up the old lights so yeah that's not very pretty so I will be using washers there so the nuts don't go through that's about it let's try it all right so i put this light on there's a little gap here on the side i don't like it i'm gonna have to figure out what to do there i'll probably push in the bracket maybe bend it back a little more and that should that should help seals pretty good on the bottom here I'm gonna have to put washers because there's a gap there. If I push too far in, then the light goes too far in. And I guess my radiator support is pushed in due to the crash I had a long time ago. I put this one on to mock up or to test fit. I it's the same case. I need to put washers there so the light doesn't come go far in. And I still have to cut this bracket. Other than that, it looks pretty good. What do you think, Caleb? It looks good? Yeah? Cool. So I got this light completely bolted down. I added washers to bring it out more since the radiator support is pushed in. So it lines up much better now. I tried to close the gap here a little bit, but Everything's misaligned, so it's the best I could do right now. That worked out well. There's a gap here, which I will probably be leaving it. Or detach this rubber piece here. And move it back a little bit and glue it again. That might work. Won't be very noticeable. Next, I'll be cutting this bracket and doing the same thing putting the washers and that's it I got the bracket on I cut it bolted it down it does not move at all so that's good and now let's try to put on the light
have this gap in the bottom here that I do not like but there's very little I can do there maybe maybe I'll, the bracket can come down a little more because I notice it's pretty high up here so I have some room so this bracket can probably yeah I'm gonna make something happen So what I'm going to do is open up this hole more so it could give me room for the bracket to go up and down. That way I can push it down a little bit and then make more space up here and close this gap. That should work. So that helped a little bit, created a gap on the top here, but same case on the other side. I might have to just pull these, re-glue them further in to close that gap. That might work out. But I still have that gap below here. You can barely see it. I doubt you'll be able to see it driving around or anything. Unless you come down here and stare in there. Looks good. Little gaps, but oh well. <laughs> 